Howdy. Welcome to Turkey Fork. Howdy, amateur artist Mark D. Chandler here once again for Manland. Everybody out there in the YouTube community, we are here at Turkey Fork, and it's probably the second time I've been here. We're going to take a little tour of the place. I understand they have some primitive camping, and they also have, uh, well, you know where they got the parks. You know, no big deal. So what I'm doing out here, I'm going to show you a brand new recipe that I came up with. Uh, basically kind of got this idea from barbecuepitboys.com, and this is going to be my version of that recipe. Actually, it's a whole different recipe. So I really can't say that I actually got it from them. They kind of sparked the idea, but you know what I'm talking about. You'll see it when it happens. But anyway, stick around and enjoy the nature. In the wild, in the woods, walking nature's path. Actually, we're here at Turkey Fork, which is a national wildlife refuge, I believe. There's me little wifey. Say hello, little hello. wifey. And we're sitting here testing out the camera. There's the lake. And they even got barbecue grills in place. I want to show y'all this grill they got. Come on in here and get a close-up shot. Check out the simple, simple design they got here. <laughs> it's all designed on weight. You just up and down these bars. You lift it up on the side. And you let it all the way down to the base. Pick it up. All designed. This is simple, and this is just neat. I need one of these in my, in my own backyard. Of course, you wouldn't cook it that high. But totally adjustable. The only negative thing is that there's no lid. You can't actually cover it up. But who cares? You can have some fun with it. I don't see him floating in the water yet. <laughs> Go underwater and don't come back up. It looks better than it did last year. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Where's your, um... Here. You brought all your fins out here and you ain't doing nothing with it. Yeah, you are, man. <laughs> hey, you got butt crack showing. Everybody here looking at your butt crack. We're using Best Choice Mesquite Briquettes. And it's some good, good charcoal. You don't believe me? Well, try it for yourself. Here we have a little pile in that little grill that I happen to like. And we're going to add the charcoal starter to it. But you know how to do that, right? Of course you do. Always save charcoal lighter. I know for those of you who don't like using lighter fluid and you have one of those charcoal starters, well, good for you. I don't have one. The first step is to take charcoal lighter fluid and douse your charcoal very, very thoroughly. Now, keep in mind, when you buy something as cheap as that, it spews out everywhere but with the charcoal. Oh, it's working now. Look at that. Now it's working. Usually it spews everywhere. But there, see, see how it does? It goes where you don't want it to go. But get the outside edges real good. And I have seen people do this on video. They light this stuff right after they apply it. Don't do that. Let them coals suck it up. That's right. Suck it up, not soak it up. We don't want to soak nothing. We want to suck it up. There we go. Very, very, very convincingly. Doing this one-handedly. Close the top. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes before you light it, okay? Maybe a little bit longer. It's going to taste so much better if you do. Okay, for today's first ingredient, you have to have one large bell pepper, and you start to slice it, not into strips, but into chunks like that. Little small, about an inch or so. Leave the seeds in there. Yes, you're taking the best part of the bell pepper out when you take the seeds out. And now one USDA approved Vidalia onion. Naturally, you want to chop your onions up. Now, we're not trying to make this minced. Just chop them up into good sized chunks. 
simple. I didn't want to show you how to chop an onion up. But you already know how to do that, right? Okay. Okay. I want to show y'all something that I learned from a crazy Russian hacker. I'm going to put his link down below. Y'all need to check this dude out. About aluminum foil. When you open it up, and you know how you sit there and you grab your aluminum foil and it wants to fall out? Something I didn't realize. These little tabs, and it's on all aluminum foil. If you take that tab and, and did it like you're on the side, well, you know what? <laughs> that's what these... It ain't doing it. But that's what it's there for. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there's one. Then you do the other side. This particular brand, Jiffy, ain't exactly... <laughs> I guess you take the aluminum foil out and then do it. <laughs> Damn it. What? Okay, so, you know, what the hell does he know, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we just lit the charcoal, got it going good. And we got to prepare the meat, and I'm going to show you the next ingredient. Don't that look pretty? Next, we have some Carolina Pride mild pork sausage from the store. And y'all may not remember that pan right there. <laughs> if you happen to remember. Uh, <coughs> quiet on the set. <laughs> Sorry, but Y'all you may not remember that pan right there. I'm going to show it to you. It, uh, that's one I bought for a cook set for a dollar piece back, uh, back a year ago. If you watch that video, some about cheap outdoor cookware. We actually use it at the house. So I brought it out here. I thought it would be a good tribute. We use these pans all the time when we're cooking. So we're going to take that Carolina Pride sausage, and you're going to see the next ingredient. We're going to open it up, put it in that pan. That's right. Now we've got some Pampa onion soup mix. Okay. And we're going to take those bell peppers and onions we just chopped up and put it in there. We're going to mix it all together with our fingers. That's right. Because we got a water source right over there behind that tray. We can wash our hands. And we're going to mix it all together. So we're going to take one package of that pan we put in there for flavoring. And we're going to use the onion and the bell pepper. Mix it all good. Just like you would hamburger. All right. Here we use about half that onion we cut up and half that bell pepper. The rest of it is going back home with us. One whole pack of the Lipton, the Lipton, Lipton onion soup mix. This is the Pamper brand, only a dollar. Got two packs in there. Now we're getting ready to mix it up and with, our, with our hands. You know, we're going to... I do that now. I'm trying to hold the camera and I don't want to get my camera greasy. Now that we got it all mixed up there, we're going to add a little Best Choice garlic powder, some Larry the Cable Guy hamburger seasoning, and, of course, Zatarain's cayenne pepper. Now, you season this just like you want it. I'm going to go ahead and add it in there because I know just what I want. It's going to be good. Okay, now what we have here is we have boneless center-cut pork chops that has been run through the mechanical tenderizer. And we're going to take some of this rough sausage we just put together here and mix with all that good stuff. And we're going to use this as a stuffing. And what we're going to do is layer that out just like of that and we're going to roll this leave a little bit of a flap on the end let's add a little bit more there them bell pepper and onions all right we're going to roll this up now i'm only going to show you to do i'm got, i got four to do and i've got another four to do i'm going to roll that up and then we're going to show you the next step okay i opened it up before i showed y'all this is the last final step this is some cottage bacon. I open it up. This is what it looks like. You need full strips of bacon. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap each piece, probably two, maybe three pieces of bacon, and then we're going to put that on the grill. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that now, show you the final product. There it is. By the way, y'all remember that? That's the old Stanley Cup cook set from Stanley. And I did take that rubber ring out. You see a little bit of rust there? because I haven't been oiling it down. It's been staying in my van for a long time, and I've used this Stanley Cook set for a long time. Well, I'm very, very happy with it. Today, I'm using it as uh, to put my barbecue brush back in there and as, as, as extra water here, because we do have a water supply here at the park. 
and that's what that's used for today. Okay, now you end up with some bacon wrapped deals here, as you see. Now we're going to place them on the grill, and they're going to be mm mm good guaranteed. Now, once we get to cooking halfway through, we're going to add a little extra ingredient to it. Okay, got them puppies on the grill now, and they are sounding good. Now it flames up because we got bacon cooking on top of them coals there. And you want to be careful. This thing here just high low, which is very, very good. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it, just kind of knock them down. Turkey fork does not allow alcohol, therefore, what? It doesn't allow alcohol, so I can't have beer out here in the open, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I'd use beer to knock the flames down and keep the, uh, the meat kind of under control. In this case, we're going to add just a little bit of water, but don't worry. We're going to, this is going to take about an hour on a slow to a very low to slow medium heat about an hour to cook all the way through and when it gets about hmm, about three quarters of the way done we're going to add our barbecue sauce to it which is a nice the the final step and then you're going to see and hear the reaction of those that are biting into it for the first time all right hey by the way we're going to have some baked beans and this is bushes this is best choice bushes best choice baked beans and onion. The kids picked it out. They said they like onion. We're gonna find out. Now, I always carry my wallet, and inside my wallet, I always keep the can opener. I've been doing this since I was an itty bitty baby, old enough to carry a can opener. So, y'all seen these before? They're cool. You just take it, and it works better than anything you buy at Walmart. This is the reliable can opener. So I'm going to go ahead and open these beans up. We're going to put them on the grill and keep right on cooking. Okay. We're about actually about an hour and a half into the cooking process. The meat is done. We've already added the barbecue sauce to it. And all we did was use a paintbrush. We've got the baked beans on there. The kids want some baked beans. So we just put them under a little bit of bacon in there. Yeah, we... Took it off, took it off of there before we had the barbecue, put it in there, stirred it up. That's just one piece so you can see it on camera. And we're about ready to eat. And you're gonna visit get a good honest, an honest to goodness taste test. They're gonna be honest about this particular recipe. And here we go. There it goes. And then we show her cutting into her meal here. <laughs> yes, even YouTube has boobies. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm going to try me a piece right here and then cut mm -hmm. it open. That's what it looks like cooked all the way through, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. I don't know about the beans, y'all. I just open them up and put them on the grill. <laughs> One piece of bacon in them, but I was like, scale of 110. On the beans? On the meat. On the meat? Yeah. A 10. That's good. I like okay. that. What about them baked beans? They're good. Scale of one to ten on them. Mm. This is the best choice brand. Let me try one myself. Hmm. Yeah, that's about a. That's about a six. Yeah, six. Yeah, they need some help. Yeah. But we didn't season them. No. Nope. Probably would have tasted even better if we put some that char grill. Uh, by the way, we use char grill barbecue sauce. Let me show that right quick there. Mm, nope, not that one. Not that one. That was the honey. There it is right there. Craft char grill. It was out of date. We got it for 79 cents. It ain't that far out of date. It's like this month it went out. So, what do you think, babe? Overall? Mm -hmm. My life is. All right, we're going to get the kids' opinion and. Mm -hmm. 
keep on keeping on this is a good little camera man it picks up good this is Carl Grimes from The Walking Dead yes this is this is Chandler Riggs the original Chandler Riggs and he's about to try some of that zombie food right there and this little brother that you don't see on The Walking Dead he's just an actual zombie he don't bite the cup no more he bites the cup Boy was so hungry today, he started to eat that plastic cup up, I tell you what. That's right, he's drinking Coors Light right there. Drinking at an early age. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Scale of 1 to 10, what is it? Hmm. Well, I guess that says it all right there. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't give us your opinion. Honest taste test. We want honesty. Test. Yeah, it's all right. Delicious. Okay, we got a thumbs up. We should have had two thumbs up, but we got one. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> what do you think? Delicious. Delicious. That's two deliciouses. But anyway, that's cooking out here at Turkey Fork. On the grill. At the Walking Dead's place. The Walking Dead's place, yeah. This is where all the zombies hang out. There were some zombies out there in bikinis a while ago. Anyway, y'all take them care. Don't stare. Watch out for those zombies out there. They have been known to bite a couple Because they might be one at your house. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching them, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, turn to me. I'm on you. I'm Carl, and thanks for watching Manlands. <laughs> <laughs> What's Carl's last name? Grimms. I'm Carl Grimms, and thanks for watching Manlands. I think it's Grimes. I could be wrong. Grimes, I mean. Could be. Uh, uh, Boy, that's the best compliment you can get right there. The Manland burp of approval. <laughs>